The weather is cold and blustery outside. The Northeast is overtaken, but it's hot as ever in here. Hi, everyone. I'm Ian Drew, senior editor here at Us Weekly Magazine, with a very special funny guest. We actually have a funny guest here today. That's a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure. I'm going to try. But you're an actual paid comedian, <laughs> not like all the rappers who come in and try their best. But uh, M. Dixon is here. Uh, to go over the top five items. Yes. And you can catch her on tour live if this isn't enough for you. Yes. Or if this isn't funny enough, you can go heckle her in person. Yes, I'll try again in person. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're here to bring you, of course, the top five sizzling stories from our new issue right here on usmagazine.com. First up, Ryan and Scarlett, their secret rendezvous. Now, I bet you thought, they ain't talking anymore. You know how Hollywood is. Divorce. You can't be seen, you're divorced. What's this with Scarlett Johansson and Ryan Reynolds meeting up? Well, they were meeting up on January 28th. They had dinner at the Little Door in uh, West Hollywood and then went to Chateau Marmont where they finished up and they were looking very cozy. What's with that? Well, a source says, hold your horses. They're not back together. They are actually just friends and they're trying to work out the divorce amicably in person rather than in a lawyer's office. So. I'd like it better if it was a scandal. I know. How can we make that happen? It'll happen. Okay. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. And next, Justin Timberlake chasing Mila. Well, we know that Justin Timberlake, who has a girlfriend, right. Jessica Biel, of four years, uh, was very close with Mila Kunis uh, during uh, Friends with Benefits, a yes. movie that they're taping. But they were uh, close again at the Weinstein after party following the SAG Awards. Apparently, Justin was following her around and getting very jealous that she would talk to other guys, including Court Overstreet. And when Cord and Mila were talking, he actually sat himself right in the middle to make sure that they wouldn't. Persistent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, he's bringing sexy everywhere, ain't he? I think he could stand to be rejected a little. I think take Justin Timberlake down a peg. Yeah, agree. Christina Aguilera, her ex won't move out. Well, what do you know? Christina Aguilera is with Matthew Rutler right. now, who she met on the set of Burlesque. And uh, recently, uh, you know, she, of course, is getting divorced from Jordan Bratman. Apparently, they're living in the same mansion together. He will not move out. And apparently, she was even drinking out her sorrows at the dime recently about this situation. And she's very frustrated. Does Bravo know? Because I feel like Bravo would make that a show. I feel like that yes. could be a good show. I say that could be a whole Real Housewives episode <laughs> in one house. <laughs> they don't even need a city for that, just that house. I'd watch it. Yeah. John Mayer's girl trouble. What is it like being John Mayer or even going on a date with John Mayer? Well, we know. <laughs> Apparently, John Mayer was out with a lady friend recently and girls were spotted coming up to him and chewing him out, saying it's awful how he treats women, in uh, including Jennifer Aniston. Can you believe people are defending Jen? Like I she had no part in this. <laughs> Apparently, John just shrugged it off. What are you going to do? Taylor Swift wrote a song about it, so it's probably not the worst he's heard this month. No, I mean, he probably <laughs> hears it all the time. Mark Anthony's fight over J-Lo. Now, you got to love Mark Anthony. I kind of dig the dude because he fights for his woman's honor still. Like, the, on New Year's Eve, okay, J-Lo and Mark were at the gambling tables at the Cosmopolitan Hotel. Right. Uh, where, you know, there's a big concert and everything. And apparently one guy was undressing Jennifer with his eyes. Mark, I don't know how he knew. <laughs> and everyone just staring at her because she's famous. But anyway, he started a fight over her. Uh, a source says he's a little guy and they were surprised to see how much he could throw it down. There you go. She's had two babies. If someone's still checking out my wife, I think that's a, I think that's a compliment. Yeah, especially when you're J-Lo, hey. There goes the judge. And that's all the time we have left for this week. But thank you, M. Thank you. Should I call you M or M's Dixon fine. Or, or what? We can call me whatever you want. Yeah. All right. I don't want to offend <laughs> you because I don't need you making fun of me when you're <laughs> doing your thing out there on the comedy circuit. But Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> once again, I'm Ian Drew, senior editor here at Us Weekly Magazine. You can check out these stories and much, much more all in our new issue on Newsstands Now.